The gloom hanging over Wall Street by the uncertainty of the stalled government bailout was punctuated Friday by nasty weather and hooded protesters opposed to the bailout. Well, we feel like when you give uh, the $700 billion for Wall Street, you're not going to give it for uh, schools, you're not going to give it for health care, you're not going to give it for rebuilding the infrastructure in this country. You're basically going to bankrupt the Treasury, and so there's not going to be money for the life-affirming activities um, like health care and, and education. Investors were unnerved as government efforts fell into chaos late Thursday. Stocks fell sharply in early trading. Outside the stock exchange, New Yorkers expressed frustration with the confusion over the stalled bailout and the provisions it may include for financial institutions. We need some type of plan to get this economy back on uh, on track. I don't know what it's going to take. I truly don't think the government knows what it's going to take. To think that all of us as taxpayers are going to be funding this in the future is a little disappointing because we haven't really been making the money all along that they've been making. So. With the prospects of a deal uncertain, negotiations in Washington were continuing as investors kept close watch on the proceedings. Well, we all think the plan will be done. And till that, everyone's waiting on the sideline. That's what you're seeing right now. You're seeing people wait on the sideline. Like I said, there's very light volume. We're waiting to see how the plan's going to be implemented. Will it be $700 billion? Will it be $250 billion over the course of time to get to $700 billion? We don't know for sure how they're going to implement it, but we know there'll be some kind of bailout, basically, what's going to happen. And we think that'll put a footing under the financials and the housing, because that's the big problem, is that housing market. Meanwhile, investors got another jolt of bad news Friday. Washington Mutual, one of the nation's largest banks, was seized by the federal government and sold to J.P. Morgan at a bargain price of $1.9 billion. Diane Kepley, The Associated Press.